Hi. What if biblically, the Nori, the Celts, and the dragon, both the Balkans, the Romans, the Greeks, are the problem in the Bible? The West is the legacy. And the big problem is that everyone wants the kind of destructive affluence that these cultures have given the world. And that's what we have to deal with. This is Lynn Schnubbly with Educating with Wisdom. And I'm the ambassador for Heaven's Creating and Protecting Goddesses and Archangels of the Life. Now, you would not know this by looking at me today, but when I was born, I was born with red hair. And what was sent on to my screen and what has showed up, because I've made the link already between the Balkans and the Celts, and I, there's been a, a, a link between the Hebrews and the Celts, and the Hebrews going up into Evros, which also meant goat, by the way, and Hebrews. And when we go into Genesis, and when we look at Revelations and in other parts of the Bible, Genesis 8 talks about the Nori. And the Nori, as it turns out, has to do with the Celts. And I, I was born with red hair. You know, I'm, and, and I don't have it anymore, but while I was an adult up until about 15 years ago, I mean, most people, if they looked at my hair, would say her hair's kind of red. And when I was in my 40s, it was definitely multicolored, you know, deep red, lighter red all over the place, not just all one solid color with brown and red and blondes in it. And then, you know, I was born with it. So we're really talking about, well, I'm just going to stop because I've already pointed out how the Balkans in the mining and the salts in the mining and how there's this whole abryonic divinic line and David is described as being a redhead as is Muhammad. So we're just going to take a minute and look at this because I have to bring this together. The Russians are also the reds. Um, and we are what Daniel describes in the Bible, that culture which tears everything apart. And goodness sakes, we're willing to do it to asteroids and the moon and you name it, we destroy it. We're the garbage producers, we are the destroyers. And, and that in fact is, you know, that's the Apollo is the, astro is the destroyer. And we find the Apollo in the Apolli, which are the Dacians. Um, which Rome then takes on and, and then Rome takes, it's then, I don't know, the, the, the Dacians are, Rome takes on the Dacians and the red dragon and then Rome takes on the Christians because the Christians believe that when they die, they go to paradise as well and, or they go to heaven and uh, so did the Muslims, so did the Dacians, so did the Thracians. I mean, all of these groups believe that if they die in the service of doing what they, you know, but they're violent, very violent. And we're looking at Aries. But what's important is that in, in Genesis, it specifically says that this is the problem. And when we look at the dragon and the dragon in Genesis, and then and, and we're looking at it again in Isaiah, and then we're looking at it again in Daniel, and then we're looking at it again, um, in Revelations, we're looking at a mining, we, we think of ourselves as being good, but we are a, a very meddlesome, mining driven, not particularly sensitive in a lot of ways. Uh, we take animals and we tear them apart without having many feelings for them. There's, there's virtually no culture on the earth that acts like this. And, and what we have to do is say, okay, now we can't solve your problems anymore. And if you don't do it, Elon Musk and everybody else with all of their magic is going to destroy you. And I'm serious, folks. The younger people that are out there that are helping to cause this virus and doing kind of hopeless with what's going on in the future, if we don't get that Noahide underway and divvy up the world in terms of geo-regionalism and in terms of peoples, which is what 
it says in Genesis 17 needs to happen, and then it says it again in Micah 4. If we don't do that, we're going to lose everything. So this is not about racism. In fact, we, we, including me, who had this red hair that, you know, I'm dealing with Elizabeth I here, as well as Mary of Magdalene and Sarah, we, we are the ones who can say, okay, we're going to pull back and do those things, but when we do, we can't do that. We're, 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 first of all, we can't do this for you anymore, too. And the rest of the world has to get an agreement out of us to not mind the living daylights to clean up our mess and to not mind the atmosphere and take down those satellites so that our wi-fi and our satellites are not destroying people and you're going to have to do that so let's go in and take a look at the bible because at first when i saw nori it said youth in genesis and i said well that doesn't that doesn't sound right uh, something, you know, God puts that little pea under all my mattresses, the princess and the pea. And I looked it up and it said, fire. And so I thought, okay, my fire. Well, as it turns out, there are other places in the Middle East that believe that nori is like my fire, as though it's something kind of needs to be lit and heavenly. Which kind of brings us, okay, let's come out of me. Oh, I, I need to show you this because this is sea crops. So let's go in and take a look at, first of all, King David. Was he a redhead? They think him and probably Esau, who was a herder as well, were redheads. And of course, King David lost the kingdom. He was a, a warrior, but he was the first to have all those multi cultural wives and everything and and what you're going to see oops is that the salts in the balkans were already in the area of the levant in the middle east they probably came down once the volcano hit that was about 1550 bc they at that point everything was weak enough that they could come down they were probably there beforehand. After the last great flood, their regions, both the Celtic regions and um, uh, the Balkan regions were very quickly involved in mining again. And the Balkan regions, you know, war, war, mining, gold, <laughs> you know, lots of wives, lots of violence. <laughs> that's what they are. And so that's the area where the red dragon comes from. Now, where China comes in from that, they may have gone over into China and done that because China, China could not survive and could never have survived this long on that quote-unquote little parcel of land if they had been the original red dragons that we were. And it may be that we got our information for, uh, from other beings out of space. And it may have been that, you know, people in the north or the redheads may have had that. But what also shows up in Revelations and in some, some I mean, I should say in Genesis and other parts of the Bible, is that that group of people were not invited on those spaceships to be saved when those waters came they were not given warning to they were the ones who had so polluted the earth and caused the problems in the first place and that's what revelations and daniel is saying again and what it's saying in isaiah is that we're up to it we're back so let's go in and take a peek because we can do something about it but that means we've got to yeah we've got to stop believing and these guys, remember, I was born with red hair too. That does, and that means we get out of other people's territory. No, we don't. So, Nori. My light. Now. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because not only did it discuss some of these biblical things, but when it talked about where it was and where it started, it didn't start in this area 
that we think of in terms of England and Scotland and this area. No, it didn't start there. It started really kind of close to the Balkans. In fact, there's this overlap of where these people are and we infect everything going through Spain and parts of Italy and I, oh yeah, here we go. Switzerland being established sometime. Now, as you know, I can't keep playing this. So this is where it is and this area in the Balkans, it's all running through into the same area, but this is where the Celts were establishing. Hmm. And then eventually they spread, well, they go, they're in Spain, they're in the British Islands, they're in France, they're down here, and they go into, you got it, about, here we go. I, I suggest you really look at this. Here they are. Establishing the Gal The Volkai, wow. Wow, and they're in Galatia and in Delphi, and they're in the Volkai. Oh, holy smokes, like Vulcan. Hmm, a little bit like Vulcan, definitely so. Remember, hepa, uh, hepa, age, hepophysis, <laughs> hepophysis. I know we get that wrong. The um, the god of Vulcanry. Now, this is interesting because they're in Turkey. Now, this is not where the Hurrians were. And I said, something came through here that brought the red dragon and brought all that crazy warringness and all that other kind of stuff. And yes, it went into Iran and that. And sure enough, it was this combination coming out of the Balkans and Thracia, Dacia, going into Greece then coming here and then look where it goes. It goes down in here. Oh yeah. Alrighty. That's where it goes. Very interesting. I mean, we're gonna see, I think it's green. Is this correct? Was it the red or the green? I can't remember which one is Rome. Well, in here, all of a sudden, Noria pops up. That Let's room called the, the Norium. Let's see, let's put us on pause. Okay, here we have Noria. They called it Honor, not quite. Um, the Celtic Kingdom of Noricum, remember that is the U.M. is a Latin ending. That's not what they called themselves. Yeah. So now we're going to come, I think I brought you here. I did. Mining. Oh, I was looking at space mining. Yep. Oh, we don't need to see that. Noah is actually na, and it's pronounced na, it's nosh, it's not, there's no ch there, there's no nosh, and there's no o, it's just na. Um, na is seed, could be her seed, but let's see where it says, and God really didn't want the animals because God wanted human beings to be vegetarian at first. And it says, I will not curse again the ground for any more of man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Now, what it really says is that God feels very sorry about what happened to the animals. And when you go up through this, God feels very sorry about what happened to the animals. Notice all the seven days.
Ararat is Obus, or Opus, or Oba, or, o or Abus, which deals with Ava. And I'm coming into this. All right. And God remembered the animals and every living thing. Let's come down here. And you're going to see Nori. And you're going to see a very bad translation because that's not what it means. And they, of course, they make it sound like God really wanted to smell animals that have been sacrificed at the altar after so many have been killed. That's not true. This is nonsense. But what they are doing is telling you something important. And he is smelling Yahweh. Remember, this is male or female. And he is smelling Yahweh, smell of the restful. And he is saying Yahweh to heart of him, not I shall add to the slight further the ground in sake of human. Not it's not in sake of human, but because of humans. That from that form of heart of the human, evil from use of him. No, 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 no. That's not what it says. It says, and he is smelling Yahweh, smell of the restful, well, and he is saying Yahweh to heart of him, to his own in his own heart. I shall not add to. It's not really two, just one two. I shall not add to slight further the ground. And sake the human. Because of the human, that it should be form of heart of the human evil and it's from from nori him from nori him so that is from nori him and not i shall add further to the smite of every living one as which i did every living thing What they're saying is that there's a problem in the heart of the Nori. It's not youth. There is a problem, and they're saying him. Okay, people, there is a problem in the heart of, we're going to, our, our scientific objective, which is not really objective, that's violent, that we're constantly destroying everything, that we're, that we do horrific things to animals and we do horrific things to life. And there is no other race of people that do this. Now, this is going to be an important statement for Africans and for the other people. And now the Chinese are doing it and they have the red dragon too. So it's important that we recognize what God is saying. God is pointing this out about us. And the Hurrians are a different group of people all together. And that's where the solution comes in. Gabriel and the Hurrians, and this is where I'm coming back into this. So let's come out of that. And I know it may seem like Noria. Oh, yes, the Noria, Julius Caesar. It was in here. Eastern Alps, most likely Southern Australia. And we have this convergence and then you have the Scythians and you have the Haldians and they all come together. They become the Chaldeans and they bring humans. There's a form of human sacrifice that they bring. And, and of course, that same type of human sacrifice, they're burning in the wicker man that happens with the, with the, um, the Celts up in the British Isles, you know, it just, there's just this horrible overlap that's going on all over the place. And there you go. That burning also happened in Africa and certain parts of Africa. So it, you know, oh, it's bad. Okay. Power, yeah. 
I mean, I, I mean, I've, I grew up as a white person. I mean, I, I know what my father did. I know, you know, it's, it's everything about how wonderful they are with their science and everything that's power, 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 electricity, power, 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 like horses, power, power, battle, battle, fight, 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 you know, and sex, 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 sex. And it's like, it's been, I grew up, this is us. Not everybody acts like this. And you're going to say, oh, yeah, but what about the Native Americans and the men and things like that? I mean, that's all true. If we look at it, relatively speaking, everybody is equally as violent. But our ability, because of what our specialty is, because of our genetic, whatever makes us tick, okay? We have specialized in destruction in, in an incredible way lacking our true spiritual natures and that's what gabriel and the tree of life and the goddesses over archangels and angels are all about now i'm going to leave you with this it was so gruesome when i saw it um again i've spoken about thracians the balkans somebody said and i saw something recently online how they couldn't figure out where athens and the mycenaeans all came from and i'm like hey the mycenaeans are not the minoans they took over the minoans but the mycenaeans are violent in many respect then athens comes in and they tell you they tell you where this guy comes from and he's you know he's the dacian he's the thracian he's the earthborn king of attica all right this is the backbone of the church. I've showed you the picture of in the Lost Book of Nostradamus, and it isn't just in the Lost Book of Nostradamus. It goes back another 300 years or, you know, to the 1400s, I should say, in terms of writings. The same sort of picture linked with a bishop and their Christ killers. It's because of him that Athena, who's over snakes and really very, very violent. Okay, but um, he teaches them about marriage and uh, government and all these other things, the serpent man. So this is where the evilness in the Garden of Eden, and, and they don't like women at all. I mean, they're about controlling women like nobody's business. So let's come into this, because this was so gruesome, and this landed on my server as well. And I can only do this for a minute, or else I'm, I'm in trouble. There is this absolutely gruesome, and there he is, this sort of sea crops here with this woman there he is oh it's disgusting it's horrible and and when you look at it it's all demons and this is us folks this is i mean we're talking about the north what are we where is jesus in this oh my goodness and it's all over the place, and it's men killing children and doing terrible things to children. It's just terrible. And it's all through this pedestrian walkway. This man is kicking and hurting kids, and it's just terrible. And, and it's, it's in a public walkway. This is a public walkway. And I guess it's, is it Norway? It's horrible. Like, it's, it's, it's terrible. And it's all over. I, I, I invite you, this was sent onto my server. And I don't, I, I, I don't know how people walk down there and see this. That's why this person is talking about it. Um, and of course, oh my goodness gracious. And this really comes back so much to what went on with my former husband. Oh, he's so horrible. Oh my goodness, this is so horrible.
and 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 so you understand oh my goodness gracious oh my it, it shows men throwing babies into the river which is what they did and it's just so horrible and it's just so hard it's just okay so now we have to stop okay so now we have to we, we just have to stop and so um i i have to speak to the African-American community and I have to speak to the rest of the world. I mean, if you want us to be peaceful, then you really have to tell us to take these things down because I'm telling people to take these things down. And you can see that Jesus and the Hurrians, which they're talking about, they're, they're very, very different people. And it was about agriculture and us coming down here to be ambassadors for heaven, for the good heaven not for the whatever wicked dragon aliens that came down here they're the ones that they have no control over your soul see <laughs> you know it's okay i better say good night and they want me to write and get my case out and so let's go i've got to put up what happened to me with udo and the pictures of my kids so and it's time because it all links in to the pornography and the Adam and Eve story and all those other kinds of things. And I have to put that up tonight because it's time.